Good day, everybody. How are you doing? I am Eric Anderson. I am the drum line instructor and percussion instructor here at Sycamore Valley Academy and also at Blue Oak Academy, two charter schools here in Visalia, California. And today, my friends, I want to take a look at this idea of the sweet spot on the drumstick just one more time. If you remember from the previous video, right, I said this, the sweet spot of the stick is somewhere between the H and the flag on a Vic First drumstick. But some of you may have already asked, yeah, but what do I do if I don't have a Vic Firth drumstick? How do I find the sweet spot of the stick? And that's what we're going to get into right now. So an easy way to do that is if you use just your thumb and your index finger the same way that, that we showed you in the previous video. You can see that my hand is that my thumb is quite a ways, quite a distance from the sweet spot of the stick. And I want you to watch how this stick performs or reacts when I just drop it from a high, from a from a good height. I get like about three or four bounces out of it. So if I slide my thumb a little bit further forward and keep my index finger under the stick and I drop it again, notice how I start getting a few more bounces out of the stick. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my my index finger right under the flag and put my thumb on top of it and watch what happens. Watch how many bounces that I'm getting out of the stick and especially once it gets to the point that I can lift my thumb off the stick. When you get that many bounces out of the stick, you have really found that sweet spot of the drumstick where you get the most amount of drumstick activity and the least amount of uh, hand and finger activity. So once you got that index finger on that sweet spot of the stick, which is about right there under the flag notice how now you can just get those back three fingers just gently bouncing the stick and you can go like this for hours on end this my friends is the essence of playing the drumsticks ah it kind of slid on me a little bit it's being able to find that sweet spot and do the least amount of work necessary to get the stick to play the way that you want it to play right so that's it for this video. Just another idea on how to find the sweet spot on the stick if you don't have a set of Vic for drumsticks. So with all the, like all the other videos, if you find this video useful, please give us a like, give us that big thumbs up, and more importantly, if you would please, share this video with your friends because we'd love for them to get as much out of this as possible as well. Along with that, definitely subscribe to the channel so you know when we're putting new content up and finally, and most importantly, keep in mind that because we set these things up to be for kids on YouTube, the comment function does not work. But my email address is down in the notes, so you can send me an email, you can ask your questions, uh, share your ideas, share your thoughts, and I will do everything I can to react, uh, to, to respond to you. And I'll tell you, you never know when your idea could wind up becoming the basis for the next video that we do. So with that being said, my friends, I'm going to get out of here and keep playing my drumsticks. Y'all have fun, and I will see you around campus, all right? Bye-bye.